Developing news tonight. We now know the names of the two women who police say were stabbed and killed by their own relative in Madeira. Police say the victims are now identified as 66 year old Betty Terrell and 51 year old Tanya Terrell. Police say they were stabbed last night at a home on Pear Street. A third victim survived the attack. CBS 47's Dennis Valera has reaction from local pastors who knew the victims. Dejon Walker is now here at the Madera County Jail after police say he stabbed and killed his aunt and great aunt. The whole town of Madera reeling from what happened, especially to faith leaders. We're just here to uh, offer sympathy. Hearing about the horrific violence at this home, pastors Sammy Neely and Charles Fryer wanted to come and pay their respects. Let them know that we're there. Um, and our prayers go out to the family. Police say Dejan Walker was in a days-long drug-induced psychosis when he allegedly stabbed his great-aunt Betty Terrell, aunt Tanya Terrell, and cousin Jasmine Miller. Pastor Fryer says he's not surprised drugs were involved. I knew it had to have something to do with uh, controlled substance, being under the influence of something. These types of, of behaviors manifest themselves when individuals are outside of the realm of who they really are. The pastors hope in the coming days their church communities and the town as a whole can come together for this family. Pastor Fryer says he also hopes this can be a learning lesson for other families. There are other people I'm sure that have family members that are having problems in life now. Take a look at those situations now and try to get these people some help. Reporting in Madeira, Dennis Valera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.